Yo, what's up everybody? And they were here bringing you guys my very first vlog. Uh, I'm not gonna ramble on. I'm just gonna answer a couple questions from my Twitter followers. The main goal of this video is just for me to get more views than Mike, honestly, just so I can brag about it. That's really all this is about, but uh, I'm gonna get right into it. The first question I got was from Rushy Rush, and he asked me, why do I collect shoes? That's a good question. Um, it's just like a hobby to me, you know. Some people collect baseball cards. Some people might still collect Pokemon cards. Uh, a little weird, but you know it happens. Uh, I just like collecting shoes. You know, it's something to do, um, and I enjoy it. So that's basically why I collect. The next question I got was from Garcia SR, and he asked me, "How did I get started with Halo? Did I play Halo 2?" or just Halo 3, and how am I liking Reach so far? Um, I got started just by playing with my brother and his friends, um, you know, just going to local lands and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't, you know, really until Halo 2 where I felt like I could expand my level of play and, you know, actually go to tournaments. Um, but I actually got 19th at my third ever Halo 2 tournament with Team Victoria's Secret uh, in Meadowlands 2007 and I actually teamed with Watch who's still on Victoria's Secret so congrats to him for you know keeping the name strong uh, you know how I placed in Halo 3 obviously but so far for Reach I'm liking it um, I like the new armor abilities uh, it's different you know it's it's refreshing and it's something new, you know, it's it's not like any other Halo, so I really enjoy that and I'm liking it a pretty decent amount as of now. The next question I got was from Cody R48 and he said, Do you like Halo Reach? Or am I just playing it because that's where the money's at this season? A lot of people hate it on the MLG forums. This is kinda like the last question a little bit. Um, but Cody if I didn't like the game, I wouldn't be playing it straight up. Um, like I just said, I'm really liking Reach. Um, I'm starting to like it more and more each day. Uh, that's about it, really. Yeah, like I said, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be playing it straight up. So moving on, uh, AK Flipside asked me, what would I like to see in the V3 settings? Um, first off, I like to see all the armor abilities that are currently in to stay in. Sprint, Evade, Jetpack. Uh, I love all of them. I think they add a new level of play. You know, you're used to in Halo 3 just being able to hold position, you know, control power weapons, run the objective, but now adding in the armor abilities, you have to be able to control all the armor abilities and use them to the advantage while doing the objective, while slaying, while holding position while maintaining power weapons and all this stuff. So I think it, it increases the skill gap a lot, in my opinion. And I'd also like to see some new maps, maybe some more arena-based maps, but also some maps that maybe are similar to the old Shadowrun maps or Counter-Strike maps, because I really think that Halo Reach can play well on those type of maps. That's all strictly my opinion, though. Um, Whatever MLG does, I'll obviously adapt to it, and I'll just figure out how to play it. But as of right now, it's kind of in the air just because MLG is trying to, you know, figure out what works, what doesn't, you know, what maps work, what maps don't, etc. So, and the next question I got was from I Poirier. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. <clears throat> he said, "How does it feel to make it to the top of the Halo world? How did I start?" What were some of the best and worst experience of my career so far? And who's the most underrated slash overrated player? Well, thanks, Poirier. Um, once again, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. For considering me on top of the Halo world. Um, it felt pretty good to get second last event. I honestly think we could have got first, but, you know, FB is a great team. And they showed it the last three events, so congrats to them. The best experience would definitely have to be Dallas, though. Just because you know we got second, we broke the curse, and I also played my first All-Star game. The worst experience would probably have to be at DC of this year or last year, just because we got our worst placing all season. But 
at the same time, it helped us improve our gameplay. You know, Darkest Tower beat us twice. They were a great team. I was actually hoping they would make it to the finals, but, you know, stuff happens, and unfortunately they didn't. But they showed us, you know, that we're not always going to get fourth. So we had to fix our mistakes, and I think we did, and it showed at Nationals. As far as the most overrated and underrated player goes, um, I really don't think anyone's overrated. You know, I might be overrated, actually. It's probably because I have red hair, to be honest. But um, for most underrated, definitely players like Lunchbox, Ace, Assault, Tots, Hines, Destin, Clutch. You know, those type of players that they play for the dub. Um, they might not put up the best stats, but they do what they have to do for the team to win. And, you know, they don't get nearly as much recognition as they should. So those type of players, especially the ones I listed, are the types that are extremely underrated. And the next question I got was from I Am Left Handed. He said, what is your favorite drink? Don't be biased and pick Red Bull. To be honest, Left Handed, um, I don't really drink soda that much. I drink it here and there. But I mostly stick to water with the little crystal light packets. But for energy drinks, it definitely would have to be Red Bull completely unbiased I feel like Red Bull is one of the only drinks that one of the only energy drinks that taste good as well as not giving you that sick to your stomach feeling after you drink it and it also boosts your energy really well I'm sure many others will agree with me too so it's completely unbiased um, I, but I would say Red Bull for definitely the best energy drink and the next question I got is from Dynasty Blue he said what should I do to step up my game and help improve my performance um, honestly dynasty first you have to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are you know if your shot isn't up to par you have to play octagon you know focus on your shot um, do many of those octagon types of games daily uh, if it's your communication you need to first learn all the call outs watch how the best communicators in the game communicate with their team if it's you know you're not staying alive as much as you should or you're not able to hold position you should watch some of the players who do that very well like Pistola, T-Squared, Roy, uh, Victory, you know those types of players but it really just comes down just to figuring out what you're doing wrong and fixing those mistakes uh, and the last question it's actually two it's from English Beaver and he said what does the Rebel sponsorship provide for you, and are your play styles as a team members in SQ different in reach or not? The first question, um, obviously I get lots of Rebel, but besides that I can't go into too much detail. Um, I would like to say it's been awesome so far. You know, I can't wait for next season. You guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, big things are definitely coming, so I, I, mean, I can't wait for that. And as for the second question, I wouldn't really say our play style switched um, or changed, you know. I still bait, you know, and hold the power weapons, but we honestly all do what we have to do just to win. You know, everyone just does what they have to do. If that means running objective, we run the objective. If that means putting up stats, we put up stats. Mostly me, though. But, I mean, so, yeah, I still bait, you know. I like doing that. So, I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. I just blanked out for a second. But, yeah, so um, I don't really think our play styles have changed, really. And those are all the questions I got or that I picked out. Um, I didn't want to make this that long. This video is kind of running on. I got to get back to studying, and I'm pretty sick and tired right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog. Uh, it's not much. Just a little bit about me inside and outside uh, of the game. Feel free to comment and just, you know, type any suggestions or, you know, any ideas that you want to see in upcoming blogs to help make them better. And, you know, just help me get more views than Mike, honestly. That's all I'm wishing, you know. I don't care if you guys hate it, as long as I get more views. But um, thanks again, everybody, for watching this. And right now you guys are probably getting ready to watch the BCS National Championship. Or it might be over by the time it's uploaded, but... Uh, Auburn's going to win. I'm uploading this before the game comes out. Auburn is going to win by at least 12 points. 
All right, thanks, guys. She said.